This is the House of Parliament where men and women have sat for decades making decisions that would affect all our lives. Do they really work in the interests of the people or themselves? They sit at the round tables trying to decipher which way to turn. Is it left or is it right? Have the people benefited from those decisions? Our people have suffered for far too long. Change should not be a figment of the imagination, but reality. Every boy, every girl, every man, every woman are equally important. The market vendor joyfully sells her produce. The fish vendor skillfully uses his cutlass to cut the fish. Keep on working. Let your smile be your motivation. Build a community of brotherly and sisterly love. Don't give up on your dreams. Surround yourself with positive thinkers. Think big and keep on moving. Keep pushing the envelope. Yes, push that envelope until you have succeeded. You may have made many mistakes. But that is no reason to stop. Don't you dare give up. Get ready for that overflow. Get ready for that breakthrough. The overflow is coming. Showers of blessings. Stay cool. Stay calm. Stay collective. Ride the rough waves of life. Hold on to that rope tightly. Just keep working. Keep moving. Keep believing self-motivation. And you heard the ending of my motivational speech. Keep motivated. Keep walking. Keep moving. Believe in yourself. And if there is one thing that God has given to me is self-confidence and believing in myself. Welcome to Lies and Deceit. I am your host, Soraya Alexander, affectionately known as Soso. How are you, my people? And a big shout out to you also from my producer. He loves y'all, you know, and I'm happy y'all are enjoying his work. My people, y'all have been such a good sport. And I would just like to, I would just like to firstly, <laughs> you know, I can't, it's going to be an interesting show. I don't trouble trouble. I go after politicians to run our country properly. Now, if you come in for Guy Joseph and myself, I will bury you in a while. But firstly, someone bought me coffees. And this person say, hey, just want to say how happy I am with your program. You're certainly doing an amazing job, you and your fantastic team, led by your son, Akeem. Thank you so much, whoever you are. Keep, in, keep on enlightening us in Queens. Hi, Queens. How y'all doing? Love y'all, love y'all. And you are truly God sent, especially for the season of hardship under this inept government and i honestly believe that because it has to be um god guiding me to do this because this is not an easy task so your support i appreciate it and your praise and you went on to say this um under this inept government stay covered under the blood helps wishing you and your show success continued success thank you very much and the person sent me many hearts whoever sent us love you love you thank you you make me happy. And somebody else bought many coffees and the person said, Hi, so, so you know how much I love your show. Thanks for opening our eyes with the truth. Thank you. I really like that. When you say things like that, it makes me feel happy because it's not about me. 
It's about you, the people, opening your eyes so we can have a better future for our children and their children, children, children. Love this. Thank you, whoever you and someone bought me coffees. They didn't say anything. Thank you. Someone else bought me many coffees and the person said, keep doing what God requested of you. I will, darling. And then um, after I had the show on Saturday, somebody went and they viewed the show and they bought me, you know, many coffees. And the person said, keep it up. St. Lucians still have the slave thing in them. They need the oppressions from Pierre and the dumbers. Never was I afraid of labor getting in power. I came home just to vote for Shas. Well, my dear, you came home to vote for Shas and you did the right thing. And then I have a new member, Miss Posad Umi. Thank you very much for becoming a member from the last show. She became a member. And um, her comment to me was, the country needs voices like you. Yes, like yours. Thank you, darling. They do. And Aisha bought me some coffees. Thank you. And to all the others who bought me coffees. The link is there. As I said, you can go ahead and buy the coffee. Many people during the show, you know, just to give me a little break to catch my voice, to drink some water, will play the video so you can go and have a look. Now, my people, I tell them already, don't interfere with me. Because I am not here. Let me shout at my girl, Anisha. Anisha, darling. Anisha, call back in um, Canada. Honey, I'm still waiting with the um, airline and all the, 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 the freight getting here. I don't know. It's really crazy in St. Lucia. It was, I was supposed to get this um, wireless earpiece since last Wednesday. But um, they sent me a note to say they have delays, which is expected, you know. So I'm not stressing over it. As long as I know they have it, we will eventually get it. And um, I really want to say thanks to Anisha. Anisha is an unwavering supporter. Man, I love this girl. Eh? I love her. We speak on WhatsApp. Real nice. I know she's related to Shane and Sean. You know, wonderful people. Good night, Shane. Good night, Sean, over in Canada. Um, Sean, I really hope that you are getting better. And I must tell you that I really admire your brother, Shane. You know, how y'all are twins and how y'all are so bonded and how y'all love each other. I really, really, really love that. Let me say good night to my sweet Miriam. Miriam is a darling, you know, from heaven. This girl is like my sister from another mother. Thank you, uh, my sweet dear Miriam. Um, can I say hi to Julia Bussett? And Julia Bussett, I must say hi to her. I was shopping on Friday. Yes, Friday was, was a day I had stuff to do. And I was shopping, and um, it's like Julia was so excited to see me. And she said, so, so look, look, this is for your coffees. This is for your coffees. And I want to tell you, it is greatly appreciated, Julia. You know, it makes me realize that you all really value what I'm doing. And I'm ever thankful, Julia. Thank you so much. And let me say hi to Jan. Let me say hi, Melly. Melly, thank you. Pink looks nice on me for my 50th birthday party. My favorite color, Melly, is actually yellow. But for my 50th birthday, I had pink. I, I, I wanted something that was very soft, very mild. So I had pink and white. These were my colors. I, I, I realized pink. Pink and blue looks very nice on me, like turquoise. Thank you, Melly. Hi, Moses. How are you? Hi, Sarah, my doodle. -doo. How are you, Sarah Joseph? Um, let me just shout you out. Janice Shalry, how are you, doodle? -doo? Hope everything is okay. Camilla, how are you, darling? Jacinta, May, Arnold, how are you? Um... Let me see who else. Mary. Hi, Mary Shalmine. How are y'all? How are y'all doing? How, how is Aisha, Bibiana? You know, all the people who support me. Thank y'all so much. Hi, Sabina. Hi, loveliness. You know, where is Sophie? Sophie Francis. I, I, I miss Sophie. Where is Mabel? Um, I know you all, you know, I know when you all are supposed to be there. And before I came in on the show, I tell you all I have my contacts. I have my contacts and um, 
that leader of government, Ernest Hille, I pray you find peace. I really do you pray you find peace. And I spoke to my PM this morning. You know, I was busy today. He, you know, PM sent me something very early. My PM, eh? Me paka di zot pie. PM sent me something early, but I let me tell you, I got up early, I had a lot to do, so I didn't look at it. And then, you know, PM called me. I had a chat with him with somebody else. And then, ah, St. Lucians, we spooned up, you know. We spooned up. We spooned up badly, 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 badly. We spooned up badly, badly, badly. Alan Chastney. You see right now, and I feel, I feel kind of sad because when he was explaining to me certain things and I went through the documents and whatever, Alan Chastney did not even know that before we spoke, I spoke to a taxi driver and he was saying to me, Miss, he said, Miss, you know, in fact, he called me Madame. He said, Madame, you know, um, things really hard for us as taxi drivers. There's no more boats, there's nothing. And the tourist, um, tourism season has ended. And until December, we might get a little break. Uncle Shas had no idea that the gentleman said that to me. And this is exactly what Uncle Shas was explaining to me. We were discussing the document and different stuff. This is exactly what Uncle Shas said to me. Let me tell you all something. Had Philip, and I will explain to you all in detail because I have to go through it. So maybe by Wednesday, really have to go through, put the figures so you all could understand it clearly. If Philip J. Pierre had ride on the coattail of what Alan Chastney did there, everybody in St. Lucia who is um who qualifies to get the 1500 because some people are working and you know you don't need the 1500 it's the people that are not working you know we have to ensure that they get it they would have gotten the 1500 dollars they would have gotten their tax return for anybody anything less than five thousand dollars they would have gotten it but philip j pierre used the money to do what he wants he didn't use the money and do the things which he promised the people of St. Lucia. So St. Lucians, y'all made an error, and this is why I am coming to deal with that SLP senator in a while. Hi, Rosalind. Hi, Priscilla. Hi, Carmela. Hi, Florence. How are you? Hi, Anna. Where's Cardi? Hi, Sweden. How are you? Meander, Meander, um, darling, anybody that wants me to do both their wishes, um, people send it to my Soraya Alexander inbox. Do not send my pages inbox. Do not send it to my Instagram. And I know your sweet daughter, it was her birthday, and I didn't get the chance to do it for her to wish her happy birthday. But I'm hoping she had a wonderful birthday yesterday and God's richest blessing i do apologize when i saw it it was after the show because it was on my instagram but i mostly look at the messages um most of the messages come on sir alexander so uncle shas people i am honestly i really feel depressed because when i get the information i really feel depressed to see what the people of saint lucia did what they did in voting out a good man and I like the fire in Uncle Shah's voice today. Uncle Shah has a fire. Now, Ernest Hille, I don't know. I don't know what is wrong with Ernest Hille. I just got the document. I will see if my producer um, will be able to show it later. But in, in essence, what the letter is saying, after Philip J. Pierce speaks at 5 p.m. tomorrow, whenever he speaks, um, Honorable Bradley Felix will speak first. Now, you know, the jackassery in this government is beyond me. Why should Bradley speak first? What the hell he's speaking first? Y'all have a 15 too. You Left to me, I'm the prime minister. I'm confident in myself. I'm confident in what I'm doing. Shastne and um, Bradley can speak last because I'm confident in myself. But the reason why they want to do their malpop thing like that, because they know the people of St. Lucia do not believe them, and they know they have nothing to present to the people of St. Lucia. Oh, thanks, Meander. I, I'm glad to hear 
she had a good, 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 good birthday. Thank you, Philippa. I will continue staying strong. Thank you. So, so, Ernest Hiller sent a letter to, now this, this letter, if you all think, Uncle Charles didn't send it to me, nobody, I have my contacts. The same way you all had your own, you all were not expecting me. You all thought you all would have won the elections on lies and deceit, and you all would have been there doing what you all want. No, God sent me to open the eyes of St. Lucian, because next election, they can never vote like this. So, he is saying Bradley should fix, um, speak first after um, Philip J. Pierre, and then Alan Chastney should speak ninth. What you are afraid of? 15 to, 15 to Ernest Hiller, leader of business. Why you want Chas to speak ninth? Huh? Why you want him to speak ninth? Why can't he speak last? Not pay. Because you all know, you all have nothing, nothing, nothing on Alan Chastney and Guy. And allow me to say good night to Gloriana, Twin Peters, Cynthia, Queen, Queen 788. These are my YouTubers. They love YouTube because YouTube is that um, you get it in real HD. Now, my people. Thank you, Sweden Charles. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, people, y'all remember I spoke about um, the housing project. Um, my producer, can you put on the picture of the house they built for the gentleman? You remember I spoke about the house they gave to the gentleman. Now, I am here to show you why St. Lucian's need young people to take over but not any young people the young people who are liberal in their thinking to bring our country forward not those who kiss politicians and party asses but young people to say hey mr jasney you are our political leader or Mr. Prime Minister. You have won the elections. We are there with you. We need you to start thinking differently. We need you to start pushing the envelope. You need young people like that. And this is what I admire about Alan Chastney. He said, Soraya, anything that you know you don't like, feel free to tell me, discuss it with me. It's fine. But with Philip Jepier. You cannot do that. I remember once I had invited this man to an interview. He had his personal assistant contact me. What I want to talk about. What's the questions. What kind of prime minister is that? Be like Alan Chastney and Guy Joseph. When they come on my show, they know what I'm going to ask them. Because they know so. So I will go hard when I have to go hard. So when you tell me a woman, a young woman who is appointed as a SLP senator could go on Facebook and try to attack Guy Joseph and Soraya Alexander because we condemned the, the not, that's not even a doghouse, the foul coup they gave the man. And this woman want to come after Guy Joseph and Soraya Alexander, you got to be tripping. Hi, Lucita. Hi, Lucita. Welcome, welcome, my Facebook people. Hi, Jacinta. You got to be kid kidding. You went behind Guy Joseph and myself. Let me tell you why. Your brain is burnt. I always tell people. You could have a PhD, you could have a BSc, you can have a, a MSB, a, a MSc, MBA, whatever, and you're still a jackass. Because that's what you are, a jackass. Because you cannot tell me. You're supposed to bring, be bringing flavor. You're supposed to be bringing something new as a young independent senator from the South. And this is the bullshit 
You took to write your time to write on Facebook about Guy Joseph and myself. You have to be a jackass. Because if my sons ever think like that, I would be ashamed of them. Because I would tell them you're not thinking like your mother. And, it is a, and this is the reason why they voted out Alan Chastney. They voted him out because they like oppression. They like to stay in poverty. You know, and y'all are the ones with the slavery mentality. Because if your friend is doing better than you and build a big house, you should be happy and not telling your friend, oh, I'm raising a little two by four. I went to school. I get this. I get that. <laughs> and, 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 and what's a Ryan guy talking about? Go sit your ass down. Let me read the shit, the bullshit this girl writes. Nonsense. It's on you. Who, look, look at her. What's her name, Senator? You see, you're not even important. Somebody that sent me that, but I had to put you straight to show the people of St. Lucia she thinks just like Philip J. Pierre. You remember Philip J. Pierre said, Oh, all of us know. <laughs> all of us know. And ministers of, of government, none of us were born with a golden spoon, you J A C K. None of y'all were born with a golden spoon. And because the, the man, the white boy, was born with a golden spoon, why don't you encourage the young people of St. Lucia or the working class of St. Lucia to excel, to have? What is wrong in having more than your friend to excel? You said, you, you, and, and this girl, this idiot woman is saying, let me read the bullshit this girl right there. Let me, let me, let me read it for y'all. <laughs> this girl, Kajiana Tuse Shalri, an independent senator, we, <laughs> an independent senator. I wouldn't want you to represent my dog. I wouldn't want you to represent my dog because my dog would want a proper kennel and you're saying to my dog, the shithole that Richard Frederick and Joachim gave the guy was good. So she said, listen to the bullshit. And let me tell you, they have no balls. I, let me tell you, when I come to speak and when I write my things, I tag nobody. Because I'm confident in myself to stand on my own two feet. Listen to the bullshit this girl writes. St. Lucia Government Housing Program. So hot. I cannot say how good I feel about this gesture. So hot. I listen with disgust. Not too long ago to the former MP for Kashri Southeast, Guy Joseph and Soraya Alexander talk about a house handed over to an el elderly man in Kashri Southeast. I too have my own opinion on the affair, but the gesture brought, brought, mud, brought me to tears so hot. But what stood out in that mess so hot? She put S-A and, and G, G J Soraya Alexander, Guy Joseph. Is Soraya saying that she would not put her dog on, can't even write, put, put her dog on that house. Girl, is in that house, okay? So hot. I, well, hello, Miss Lies and Deceit. I am a product of less than perfect plywood structure. So hot. Sh to show that you, you are a so hot. To believe you went to school and believe that is good. So hot. That is why our young people will not go into politics because of so hot like you. I left secondary school with eight CSEC passes. So, four A levels pass. So, professional studies qualification in human resource management pursuing MBA. So, a lifetime of community service. So, management roles at work over a span of 13 ish years. So, Respected among my regional peers as well as local colleagues, now a member of the upper So, who the hell care? And you have a pea brain, you have a jackass mentality, who care? You say you have all that. You see, this is what they try to make the people of St. Lucia think. That having an education, you bright, you're a jackass to write that. You're a jackass. The, and hear what she's saying. These characteristics should ever be given... 
these, charact these characters should ever be given an opportunity to have their delusions add to the masses. Make me stop. If they call you woman, make me stop. Delusion, so hot. Who are you? you? Who are you? Look, 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 look at you. I saw when they um, saw you in as a senator. You were not even looking posh and nice representing any young um, um, person. Right? You, 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 you look just like your prime minister. They can say, so hot. And you want to come for Guy and myself, so hot. For you as a young person to say this is good, that means you so hot. Nonsense. And if my children ever came to me and say, mommy, this was good, they know what would be coming. I would tell them, then you're making me a shame. That's not how I, 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 I trained you all. My children would have been happy to see a small structure like that properly structured, properly built with amenities for the gentlemen, and they would say, yes, so hot, and you representing young people, so hot. Don't come for Guy Joseph and Sir Alexander because I'll take you down. So hot. You're talking about MBA, now you're a member of the upper house. Stop it, I'll come for me. Oh, the masses. The masses listening to me if you don't know. So hot. Because the masses them says it's jacket through you right there. So hot. Girl, girl, do not come for guy Joseph and myself. We will bury you. We will bury you under a bridge. Do not come for us. We'll put you flat down, platate, rubbish, pea brain. Oh, you come in and say, I, I will not put my dog in that. You put in yours in that? So hot. Rubbish. Uh, you, 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 you come in there and you want, you want to talk uh, uh, about with disgust. Look at, looking at you disgust me. Because it tells me, people like you cannot touch my son, Akeem Ernest. With his productivity. My other son is very quiet. He doesn't want me to say, say about it. But he's soon going somewhere else to do something. Then mommy, mommy, you know you're sure mouth. Don't say nothing. Right? So hot. The children that are making the waves. Let me tell you, so hot. My son sat in on a panel discussion. He was the youngest. People from France, people from Trinidad, people from all over. And they were so bloody impressed with him. And the lady said, I should not be afraid to work with a young person like Akim with his ideas. Because I am going, I should be able to embrace him. I should be able to do my work. I should be able to do my work. And at the same time, Akim come with his ideas and we work with him. Because I'm going. And the young people are coming so hot. When you all come and talk shit like that, because I raised my children well to think and to excel and to do things well. And if my children had ever come and tell me a house like that was good, I would call them so hot too. Nonsense. And you're not a representation for young people. Look at how you're dressing. You're a senator. Look at you. Looking, looking like you just come from a Cracker Jack's box. So hot. And you want to come for a guy and myself? Talking about the house, so hot. So hot, Maji. That's what you are, so hot, Maji. You want to come for me? Look at you. Huh? You're talking about you have MBA, in human resources, you have, you, you, you have this. Who the hell cares if you have MBA and you cannot implement shit? See, and this is why this idiot, this is why this idiot prime minister is upset with. Alan Chastney. Alan Chastney father only have a high school um, diploma. Right? His mom, I forgot what he said, his mom. Well, they were ordinary people who work so hot. And they work well. So hot. Maji. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. You representing young people, check you. Look at me, our granny, our old lady. Check me, I, I on flick. Huh? All the young fellas, 40, 40 years running behind so so. Check me. 52 years looking like a hot a hot pepper. Gado. Ula Kovie Bowel. And you want to come for a guy like this? Because God, shut up! Nonsense! I warn you, Lara, 
I don't come for me. If you come for me and guy Joseph will bury all. I am the female version of guy. Why you think they cannot get anything on guy because he does everything by the book so hot and you can then say guy Joseph, you can guy Joseph and then think Gado. Huh? You you like a big barrel, a, a big number two, no shape. You're not even a number eight, and you want to come and say, Miss Lies and DC, don't sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. I want you, don't come for me because I will bury all. You you say, you say you have, you say you have intelligence. I always say, anybody can go and get a PhD, a MBA, a MSc, a BBA, a BSc, whatever. But they cannot impact the knowledge. They cannot implement. And I have to take on your bullshit. Because I remember the teachers saying to Akim, you, you are a good implementer. And my show production should show you. This is how young people excel. All this credit is not for so So I come here, I speak. All the credit is for a young person. So hot! And you want to give a, a, a old man. You say, oh, you raising that. So what you raising that, you get all what you get. So the old man is deserving of the shithole house they give him. So hot, Maji. I want y'all already. Eh? Don't come for me. Eh? I have the medium to bury all of y'all alive. Don't come for me. Educated fools. So hot. Uh, you, want to, you want to come for, for me? Look at me, 52 years. 52 years. Put me by you, I looking like 20, you looking like 150. You want to come for Guy Joseph and Soraya Alexander? Girl, sit your ass down, eh? Pawan, j'ai moi. You come in and say, these characters? Who the hell you calling characters? It seems you married to Fred Flintstone because you're in the ancient world to tell me the house is good. To tell me, the people of St. Lucia, I am saying this to open your eyes, that these politicians and their cronies, all they can see for you is garbage. Look at what Guy Joseph and them were doing, the Talvin project. Look at what the, even Cashery South is, y'all didn't know about it. He had these little things to do for y'all. Nice houses, not the garbage trash can puppy show. And you are your girl, you should resign as a senator because you make no sense. You make no sense. Maji! Come and call us those characters should ever be given the opportunity um, um, to have their, their delusions added in, in them. Are you more delusional? Look at you. Who, who is delusion? We're speaking the truth. You like to come. I am MBA. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and you cannot perform. You can do shit. You can't do jack shit. Talking about these characters. Anyway. The Lord be with you. Let me show that idiot senator. We're going to put Mia's Motley to show you what Mia Motley is doing for her, her teachers, her police officers, not bluffers like Richard Frederick saying a poor gas attendant that make no money can get a condo for a hundred thousand dollars a bunch of idiots run in this country and i'm here to revolutionize your mind so that you think so we are going to show you madam senator that needs a wardrobe change a hairstyle is too bad you come and call guy joseph and i character go sit your ass down take a look people 30 applicants who already qualified for loans were among those who turned up to see the first two show houses at Vespera Gardens. The neatly built homes in the Hope Inc. stage of the project will see the construction of 152 houses in two phases. Phase one will comprise 90 houses, 49 two-bedroom and 41 three-bedroom homes, while phase two will comprise 62 houses, 29 two-bedroom and 33 three-bedroom homes. Prime Minister Mia Amor Motley was also there. She spoke with potential homeowners and also viewed the houses, which are completed with tiles, photovoltaic panels, built-in closets, and kitchen cupboards. The Prime Minister said the proof of government's housing policy to satisfy the demand for homes is indisputable. It became evident that we needed to reduce the cost of land, reduce the cost of construction, reduce the cost of transactions, reduce the cost of accessing the mortgage and make it more affordable. And how have we done it? 
We've tried to be able to cap the land price to you with respect to how much you are paying for the land. In my constituency, people were paying $25 a square foot for land and having to dig down deep, deep, deep to find foundation. And I felt it was wrong because when you match that against the ability of a nurse to pay, a policeman to pay, a teacher to pay, you're then asking people to literally have to find a second job to be able to live, and the quality of life is therefore compromised. Ms. Martley has described the project as the beginning of the silent revolution of housing in Barbados. This phase of the initiative caters to those in the income bracket of teachers, nurses, and police officers. Head of the Barbados Secondary Teachers Union, Marianne Redman, and President of the Barbados Nurses Association, Valerie Francis Miller, are pleased with what they have seen. The teachers generally have been very excited by what they've heard in relation to the terms of, repay of repayment of the mortgages, the amount. And this gives them an opportunity, many of them, to own a home that they would not have had before. The houses are well designed, many windows, very cool. For nurses to have an opportunity to own a part of the rock and also own a home after working so hard and then you come home from work, you have a place that you can relax and call your own, not worrying about how it's going to be paid for because the homes are affordable. To date, there have been 2,971 applications and show houses will be available for public viewing every Saturday. Shane Jones, CBC News. Now, my people, and this is where Soraya Alexander comes in. This is where I come in to open the minds of the people of St. Lucia. And this woman wants to say that the house given to the gentleman was okay. It was not okay. I am here to show you the lie. Number one, listen to what Richard Frederick said, that the condos, the average gas attendant would be able to own one of those condos. Lie. Listen to what Mia said. Mia said that it was $25 a square foot. That would be impossible. And she is a caring and loving prime minister. I'm not saying she's perfect, but she has that human side to her. Listen to what she said. She said if she had left everything as is for the police officers, the teachers, the nurses to go ahead and purchase those lands at that cost, they would have to find a second job. Now, when you find a second job after your first job, your production goes down. Your productivity goes down. Because people are all tired. So what she did, she, 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 she bargained and she accommodated her nurses, her teachers, and her policemen so they can get those beautiful houses. This is what you call vision. And you know, it is a shame. It is a shame that in St. Lucia, our young people, not all, that some of our young people, like this young woman, who is now a senator for the SLP, would believe what was given to the gentleman was right. It tells me that they are not forward thinkers and they are not able to speak to the prime minister and the ministers and say, hey, as young people, we want better from you. This cannot be right. So then Mia is saying, because even the secretary of the Saint, Saint, um, not Saint Lucia, of the Barbados Teachers um, Union, she said that the teachers would now be able to pay the mortgage comfortably. And you heard the, them at the end saying, it would be so nice going to a place to call your home. Richard Frederick and Philip J. Pierre and the Cabal, they want to build projects for us in St. Lucia. We want no projects. We do not want that. And again, it goes to show, it goes to show that Mia Motley is in touch with the people. And Shasne and more so, Guy Joseph were in touch with the people of St. Lucia in terms of their needs. Now, I cannot, again, this is why I think I'm here to open the minds of the people of St. Lucia. 
Because Guy Joseph understood everybody like their little um, 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 space. They like their space. They like their yard to go in their yard to sit. And you know, this is our Caribbean life. But Baha wants to bring to the people of St. Lucia projects. No pavle, sir. We do not want projects. Look at what the prime minister in Antigua is also doing. No pavle, sir. And you have, you know, it is sad. And I realize one thing with the St. Lucia Labour Party. When you see they have those young people in their political organization, they brainwash them and they indoctrinate them. They brainwash them and indoctrinate them. So they're coming out looking like fools. And, and she said she has an MBA in human resource management. If you had an MBA in human resource management, then, you, then clearly you're not making any impact. Because you cannot have an MBA in human resource management. And this is what you're saying. This is what you're saying. Your goal should be to push young people push your employees push people um, um revolutionize their thinking we are in serious trouble in this country we are in serious 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 trouble in this country yes we know flow playing with the wi-fi because we're going we're going down real hard on them we know but don't run stay there we're giving it to them hard we know they're messing with the wi-fi Yeah, we know they're messing with the Wi-Fi because I'm not playing with them. I may have to do like Guy Joseph and hook up with an American internet. I might have to call Elon Musk, you know, to sponsor me. So I can get some of his satellite um, thing and, and put my internet and do my business. And let me tell you, there is another vlogger, JD Vlogger. I watch him and, and Nessa. They are... Um, She's a songstress, and he also. And they were doing their show on Saturday. I usually watch them, but I had my show. I had to come on to do my show. And they had to restart their show how many times? And, and they have their sponsors, and they have their, their people waiting to hear them, and they had to apologize. Flo was giving them a raw deal. But like Guy Joseph said, when Flo buy all the lines, hog all the lines, you know, they, they're holding us by our throats like that. You know, we need uh, somebody like Guy Joseph. We need more Guy Joseph to speak on behalf of the people of St. Lucia. Because when you tell me your young girl could speak such rubbish, let me tell you the greatest asset in our country right now are our people, human resources. Politicians are so bad. They refuse to invest in the young people so when they were saying to you about the five million dollars and the ten million dollars or youth economy where is that going our youth economy is worth more than ten million dollars now my people so so tomorrow there's um bacchanal in in the house of assembly now I, I need to ask, the one I'll be um, playing is Housing Minister, Political di di um, Divisions. I need to ask, I really need to ask, Richard Frederick, um, the Senator, Senator Shallery, you don't believe that Richard Frederick is more delusional than Guy Joseph and Sura Alexander? Y'all were not expecting me because I myself did not even know I was going to be here. But God gave me a mission and I'm carrying out my mission. Y'all were not expecting me. Richard Frederick was in Shasne's ass like a tick for five years, 24-7. Where were you? Where were you? Put this woman back up. Where were you? Richard Frederick was in Chastney as like a tick 24 7. 24 7. Where were you? I tell the wrong person to come. I don't interfere. You see me? 
I'm a very peaceful person, but the lioness is going to come out in me if you come for me. That's how, that's how I am. That's why I'm able to stand on my feet, because I don't talk shit. Look at you, my dear. Where were you when Richard Frederick was in Chastney as 24-7? Where were you when Richard Frederick was causing division in our country? Chastney! Where were you? Where were you to see the ills they did to Chastney? The lies and the deceit and you want to come for Guy Joseph and myself? Girl, I put in you plat down plat at eh? Listen to the crap. Richard Frederick is now crying for unity. This man is crying for unity. So hot. Speaking at the ceremony to rename Aquarius Corner after the late DBS reporter Alex Buske, local government and housing minister Richard Frederick took some time out to address the issue of political division, which he says is hampering the country's development. According to him, everything in the country is hinged on political allegiance, which usually results in what he says are square pegs in round holes. If one is not a member of your party, you shoot down his or her ability. It should not be that way. We must cross those barriers. We must cross those barriers because those barriers of division invariably tardy our development and we end up having square pegs in round holes. As a case in point, the minister made reference to a decision to remove a plaque at the Serenity Park, which stated that he opened the facility although the park was his brainchild. Although Serenity Park is the brainchild of your humble servant, politics raised its, its ugly head whilst I was out of the political arena. When a decision was taken to remove a plaque, not that Serenity Park was named after me, a plaque stationed at the park which simply said that I opened the park. Politics raised its head and it was ordered that this plaque be removed. We can as a country do better than that. Minister Frederick believes the time has come to remove such political divisions. For the DBS News World, I'm Don Nicholas. So hot. So hot. <laughs> so hot. Listen to this jackass. Oh, and let me tell you, eh, these people are so petty. The man is saying, no, they had a placard with his name, a plaque with his name on it, and they took it out, and you know, political interference. If Jack asked was a person, you'd, you'd fit the cause, my boy. Can you believe this man asking for unity? He, my sister, Angel Brett, all of them, were dehumanizing me on Facebook. Look at me, strong as a lion, standing strong, taking your own head on. Give me me pray about my brother, my sister. Join with them, all of them. Who foot the damn food funeral bill? Where was where was Angel Brett? Where was Richard Frederick? Where was Miriam John Alexander? Where were any of y'all at the funeral? Where were you? And you come on your page and you give me me pray so hot, Richard Frederick. Four of us was at the funeral. Everybody left the bill for me. I paid it with my card. Right? All the nastiness you and all the others were saying about me on Facebook. Go at Rambali. They'll show you the thousands I paid. And then four of us, we got, we did a nice funeral for him. I got the pastor, everything. Put him in his tomb and he laid to rest. So hot! And you come in and ask. You come in and ask for peace. You are a monster. You are a monster. You have divided our country. You have put our country in shit. Because you're shasne, shasne, shasne. Going and try and make people think things about me. Let me sell my damn coffee. I prefer sell my damn coffee than for.
for me to go and sell drugs. It's legal. Shut And you want to come and tell people? You want to come and tell people? Oh, let's come together. You are poison for this country. You are poison, Richard Frederick. You are poison for this country. And this is why all of us are catching our asses today in this country. You are poison. So hot. Oh, let us come together. You have destroyed our country. Can our country be repaired? I don't know. I don't know if it can be repaired. So hot. And Flo, stop the ass playing with my Wi-Fi because I come in on hard. So hot. Right? You try to dehumanize me. You think I'll ever forget that? Right? I never beg nobody for bread. I will never beg you for bread. Angel, bread, my sister, none of them for bread. For bread. I pick my bread. I need my bread. I cook my bread and I eat it. So hot. And now you come in and ask for peace. So hot. I will never forget. You didn't know you were interfering with a lion. A lioness. You didn't know that. So you believe you could have come and kicked me. No man is kicking me. I crash in your head for you with my feet. So hot. Nonsense. Coming and ask Alan Shastney. Alan, Sh Alan Shastney is white. So what? We have how many white people in St. Lucia? So what? Alan Shastney is white. Alan Shastney is white. So what? Alan Shastney is white. Who the hell care? I like Shast. I like Shast. I like Shast. Shast Irie. Hey, come, Mr. Ryo. Mr. Ryo. we talking and everything. And, you know, Shast cool. I can deal with Shast. Shast pa cool, eh, mwe? Look at me. I'm a nice brown skin girl. Shast say a, a number. And we talking, Irish is talking to me. You're not even saying, oh my God, this was a former prime minister or, is, or this is the leader of the opposition. Nah, you're not saying that. I talking to, I was talking to, to, to Shas like it's Akim I talking to, like Kyle I talking to. We just, they're cool, Irie talking. Shas was the man for, and is still the man for the country. So hot. And our country recovered. They use all the money. Our country recovered. 2020, 2021, we, we went back to 2019 figures. Our economy grow 12.21%. So hot, Philip J.P. Y'all have ruined our country and do not expect me to sit by and not give y'all the pressure. I am going to give y'all the pressure. So hot. And this bunny bay barrel want to come and call guy and I character girl. Sit down. Sit down. Papi show. In Shastney backside for five years and now you're asking for it. There shall be no peace for you. There shall be no peace. Because you can only get peace when you give peace. You tormented the country. Not only Alan Shastney. You tormented the country for five years. You tormented our country for five years. And now you are asking for peace. You are a monster. You cannot come and ask for peace now. And some of you are sitting there like you're afraid to talk. You're afraid of Richard Frederick. No man. Put God in front of you and he is going to bring each and every one of them down one by one. He's going to take care of them. So hot. Nonsense. It's time people start away all the professionals hiding, kissing us. Kissing us. Kissing, I ain't want to kiss your ass. When I go in the supermarket and shop, it's my money. When I go and pay my bills, it's my money. I, I ain't making bomb with no politician. I ain't doing nothing with no politician. Because that's all y'all do. Visa revoking, no visa getting, because two bombs up cafe politician. Two bomb. This is nonsense. This is nonsense. And you come in and talk about Alan Shastney. Y'all St. Lucians. Y'all are suffering right now because of, and let me tell you, they will not put people, and like I say, I am doing this, I am not looking to be in any position. Like I said, when I hear this girl, the, the, the senator for SLP talk, this crap, calling guy and I characters, we shouldn't have a voice to talk to the massive guy. child go on a panel with people from France two part two and they're like wow youngest child and say wow this boy is brilliant this boy is brilliant who are you to come and talk 
Who are you to come and talk? Huh? You, 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 you embarrassing young people like my child, Akim, Kyle, and all the other brilliant young people. You're embarrassing them. I want to see my children, your children, your children, children, do better than me. And this is a hang-up this government have. They have a nasty hang-up who have the save, save, slavery mentality. It is not Alan Shastney that has the slavery mentality. It is the St. Lucia Labour Party that has the slavery mentality. Because look at what you're saying. You're jealous of a man. You're jealous of a man because he is wealthy. I do not care with Alan Shastney wealth. Let me get my own wealth. He's doing good. I rub his shoulders with him. I try to get all his little secrets. You know, try and get his father's secret. This is, this is how you roll. Young people, let me give you some advice here. Let me just drink some water, my people. Excuse me for a minute. Let me give you all some advice. Young people. Fly with the people who have succeeded already. They want to keep you all in the poor man mentality. If you rub in shoulders with people who are going places, they will drag you up with them. But the St. Lucia Labour Party government, they have a mentality. They have a mentality that it is okay to be poor. It is not okay to be poor. When you are poor and struggling, you cannot pay your bills. When you are poor and struggling, you cannot take care of yourself. It is not okay to be poor. Aspire to be rich. Aspire for greatness. So Alan Chastney realized what his mother and father did to get where they are today. So what he was doing he came from a well-to-do family because his parents worked. And many of us could say the same thing. Our parents worked hard, and this is why we are in a good position. And you have a prime minister saying to you, the people of St. Lucia, Oh, we don't have golden spoon in our mouth. We don't have golden spoon in our mouth. We don't have golden spoon all of us are just Malawis. Keep your Malawis for yourself. Uncle Shasne was on the path of making each and every St. Lucian independent and not dependent on any government of politician. He was boosting the morale. And you know, sometimes I'm saying, hey, Lord, I really don't know what's wrong with us. He was boosting the morals of St. Lucians by giving them affordable houses, by ensuring Ojo Labs will pay them decent salary. And he, as the visionary, also gave his, his bit, his portion, whatever he had to give towards that happening. And you have a prime minister saying they have golden spoons in their mouth so this is why all the money the country recovered alan chastney buried you today i saw his first release he buried you our country grew and for the eight months and claudias is saying they didn't borrow according to guy a special class of idiot They, let me tell you, they use all the gains made by Alan Chastney to do what they want. And now he is coming with a half a billion dollar budget. How do you think he's going to do that? How is he going to finance his budget? People, I, I, I hate to burst your bubble, but I have to burst your bubble. Tourism is dead. And the poor taxi driver tell me, um, Madam, it's until December. Shas had ways of creating an environment for people to continue surviving even when 
even when the figures were low. Right now, we have all the hotels coming to us, asking us to come to staycation. We would love to go to staycation, but it's in the U.S. We have that kind of money. You have to think of the next bill that coming you have to pay. And these are the men you all put there. So, in essence, let me tell you all, as I have told you all before, if the United Workers' Party government had come in again, you all would have seen all the benefits. All of you all who have been crying and say it's like two years you all haven't got, not two years, um, from the time they're there, you all got from Chasne and they came in and you all haven't gotten anything. You all would have gotten something from Alan Chasne. Y'all would have gotten something from Alan Chastney, but y'all threw him out. Now, you know, I have to play that for y'all. I have to play that for y'all. No, we coming down bear with the bunny hypocrite. Let us go to... Group remains... Uh, sorry, back, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Request denied. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! One of the organizers of the Black Lives Matter event, Peter Isaac, says the group will reapply for permission to hold another rally. This is a movement that is, that is ongoing. It will not stop now. They will not silence us with, uh, with permission or no permission, approval or disapproval. The reality about this is that what we, will going to, we are going to do we are going to reapply. This protest was well supported by members of the opposition St. Lucia Labour Party. We are here to show uh, solidarity with the cause. We think that racism is a scourge. We think colonialism is a scourge. And we are here to show that our disapproval as to what happened in, in, the, in the U.S. Prime Minister Alan Chastney reportedly held discussions with the police and the Ministry of Health regarding the planned demonstration but left the final decision up to them. First, the deputy leader of the SLP, Dr. Ernest Hiller, expressed disappointment with the Prime Minister's response. He says the Prime Minister has the power to authorize the event. The Prime Minister is a competent authority. If he wants this event to take place, he just has to issue an order authorizing it. The Commissioner of Police doesn't have the authority to approve or disapprove. Dr. Hiller says the responsibility of the Police Commissioner is to enforce the existing orders. For the DBS News World, I am Don Nicholas. I want the people of St. Lucia, Ras Iper, and all those who were there. I want you all to explain to me and my viewers whether black lives do not matter anymore. Now, you wanted to do that much in a period where we were experiencing our high numbers in COVID. The same way they did their match in October. So I need these people to tell me right now. And also Philip J.P. and Ernest Hille, Richard Frederick, Joachim Henry, all the gang. Why were y'all seated at mass in the Anglican church with our slave masters? They white why were you sitting in the Anglican church with our slave masters? They white. You told the people of St. Lucia not to vote for Alan Chastney because he is white. Let us put the picture with them. So I want to know if Black Lives Movement, if Alison J. Black Lives Movement is only because her son died and it is done all the killings that has happened why haven't i seen a black lives movement by alison Je, ras Ipel, ernest he lay on his knee and philip jp on his knee calix george all of them that were there why haven't we seen a black lives matter match the foot is not on your neck again. It was out of convenience. You see the hypocrisy in this country? People do not stand for things genuinely. They always have a motive. Look at him there like a soccer boy. Surclass. Right? Look at him. 
with the prince. Look at him. You should not be standing there because you are against a prime minister or anyone with, with a fairer color than you. You went to say, oh, um, I am a proud black man. I'm a black man. I'm a proud black man. Hey, I'm a vice star general. I'm a proud black man. That's what you were doing. Yeah. I'm a proud black man. <laughs> I'm a proud black man, five star general. You are a five star general of toilets because you cannot do anything for the people of St. Lucia. That's what you are, a five star general of toilets. We <laughs> want our country and our lives to return to normal. Because if you were protesting genuinely, you would have still protested for all the lives that were lost through the killings in St. Lucia. But it was an agenda to overthrow a white man. But all of y'all sat in the Anglican church with the oppressors, with the white people. Y'all were still sitting there so hot. So hot. Y'all were still sitting there so hot. No shame. Lies and deceit. And I will be very blunt with you. I will never support the St. Lucia Labour Party. Because it is lies and deceit. And everything, all the things you did to the people of St. Lucia, you are now asking us to come together. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. So hot. <laughs> you want to fight down a man because of his color and let me tell you people a bunch let me show you the snakes we have in government i exposing them tonight the snakes, the salt. I will show you. I will show you. LP to announce. No, 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 not this one. ND, NDM suggested. That's the one I want. NDM suggested. I want this one. Take a listen to this one. The leader of the NDM says the people of St. Lucia will decide what factors they will take into consideration when they go out to vote. He says there are different conventions in various islands regarding ministerial conduct and situations similar to that of Mr. Fredericks. Mr. Dove highlighted Jamaica's mining and energy minister, James Robertson, who gave up his cabinet position in the wake of news that his U.S. visas were revoked and worries that the revocation would put the Jamaican government in a bad light. In our organization, uh, if something like this occurred, we would look at the implications, the ramifications, because a minister of government that cannot traverse the United States of America or do business with the United States of America obviously has a hard time on his hands executing the responsibilities of his portfolio. Mr. Dove says in the case of Mr. Frederick, he should do what's in the best interest of the country. In a situation like this, I believe somebody in our organization would not have to be asked to resign. They would know that, you know, they could not fulfill their ministerial duties effectively and they would, you know, do what they thought was necessary in the best interest of the country and resign. Prime Minister King has ordered an investigation by local diplomatic officials into the revocation of his housing minister's visa. The Prime Minister, who met today with the visiting U.S. Chargé d'Affaires, has promised to report to the media once the investigation is completed. Reporting for the DBS News World, I am Cecil Actil. So hot, Philip J.P. You want to come 
to the people of St. Lucia to say that you are stamping out corruption. But you have a minister, Richard Frederick, in your parliament that does, in your government, that doesn't have a visa. Now, people of St. Lucia, the United States are watching us very closely because they are asking themselves, how can a government or a prime minister have a minister of government who cannot travel to various um, countries on a diplomatic passport to carry out the business of the country? So it tells you, my people of St. Lucia, that Philip J. Pierre only cares for Richard Frederick and he only cares about himself and his cabinet ministers. Because at the end of the day, when you put men in power or in office to govern, it's to govern a country. And he is saying that he has hired or he has placed $1 million aside for a special prosecutor. He better put it aside for the DPP. Now, I saw Felicia Brown, an activist, telling the, DT, the DPP that there are cases for how many years, and high-profile cases or whatever, that he needs to start looking into it. Felicia Brown, why haven't I heard you and the silly woman spoken about the Rover Gate? It is wrong. Why haven't I heard you and the silly woman spoken about the Rover Gate? Why haven't I heard you, Felicia Brown, and the silly woman spoke about how can you have a minister in government where Christian marks are surrounding him concerning his visa? Why haven't you challenged that? To be a true advocate, you must divorce yourself and be neutral. This is what you'll portray yourselves to be. Because wrong is wrong irrespective of who. If it's Alan Shasta that did wrong, wrong is wrong. If it's Pierre that did wrong, wrong is wrong. But you'll only advocate conveniently. Because we know for a fact that the way this transaction happened with the British High Commission was wrong. It was not right. And then why aren't you saying we have a minister in government where his visa was revoked and up to a day like today, the U.S. Embassy refuses to give him a diplomatic passport or a, or, or, or a personal visa? They said no. Philip J. Pierre saw it applied to the U.S. Embassy for a diplomatic visa for the Bahau, and it was refused. These are the things that advocate, because at the end of the day, you are preventing the honest St. Lucians from going to get their visa. They're going to say, St. Lucia, Prime Minister, Prime Minister, girl, bam, this one, girl, bam, go, go, we don't want you all in our country. You think when the people of Barbados go for their visa, they have problems? And you know, there is something so critical. We boast me or mortally, but you know, Alan Chastney, had he won, he would have been the best prime minister in the Caribbean because our economy, I think Barbados' economy grew by 1.6 and ours grew by 12.21%. And this is not figures that's just floating all over the place. This is fact information so this is what I wonder at leave the DPP leave him alone leave the DPP go after Philip J Perry with his shit special prosecutor for the one million dollars we have Dazarin Green there what we have him there for good looks it's the same bullshit this government is doing like they did in 2011 the impact stupidness hired these Jamaicans to come and do bullshit and nothing can happen. And now you go, what corruption? There is no corruption. The corruption is in, 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 in your gang. Go fix your corruption, Philip J.P. Go fix it. Nonsense. And I have no respect for this prime minister because it tells me we don't even know if you have a wife or, or a concubine or whatever. She's never anywhere with you because you cannot respect me. 
Because if you have a minister of government who can come and disrespect a woman like that, and you see nothing wrong with man, I don't have time for you or waste. I don't want to listen to you. But I'm obligated to listen to you so I can come here and tell the people of St. Lucia about what you say, the shit you say. St. Lucians, open your eyes. Alan Chastney, we basically, let me just put it blunt. We have gone back like 15 years. We have gone back like 15 years. This is what labor did to y'all. They had no plan, but they made y'all believe. Guys, they are Papa Vole. He was voling. Where guy voling? Took three million US dollars. Cannot get anything on the man. Guy Joseph should walk the streets of Castries with his head held very high and not being ashamed. I'm the, and I am here to break the chains of, of your mind for you to start thinking for yourself. That you call out the bullshit irrespective of which government. We are drowning here today. We are drowning here today because of the bad decision our people made. And this man wants to come and call for peace. You didn't know who I was, Richard Frederick. You didn't know I was a child of God. You didn't know. So all of y'all came for me. Oh, that must be a, just a, a stupid woman come for me. You come for the wrong woman. Yeah, try and give people impression of me. You know, it's laughable that all the ministers, all the prime ministers, the president should be laughing at this government, a foolish government. A jackassery government and you have a young girl you have a young girl put her face up again put her, her face up again you have you have her come in and tell guy and i characters girl sit yourself down quiet yourself come in and tell guy and i we are characters you ever see guy Joseph and Soraya Alexander come here without factual information? And let me, let, let me elucidate you. Let me school you. The post you wrote was bare shit. No substance. Dry. Dry. And that's what you are, dry. You may be looking nice and fat on the inside, but you dry nothing on the inside to, 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 to give out anything of substance. But to write this bullshit, can you believe somebody writing that bullshit? Can you believe this? Can you believe this? I am, I, I am, I am speaking for the young people. I'm not young. I'm way past the young age. And all of y'all... Some of y'all refuse to get up, and I'm happy for this lady who was in the conference. She said, you know, why should I be afraid to work alongside a young person like Akim with ideas to implement? You know, I do my thing, he do his thing. We're going. But all of y'all there behaving like your navel string cut in the kitty, our treasury, and that's where y'all have to be, and that's where you're alone y'all can survive. You shouldn't be surviving when your party is in power. You should be surviving all the time. A little job they go, girl, why you know me and Guy Joseph for you to come and run your mouth and talk shit like that? Are you insane? Are you insane? You got to be some special kind of stupid. To come and say these characters? Girl, sit yourself down and hush. Where you know us from? Uh, where you know us from? A little, a little position they give us. That is why position go to your head. That's why I tell you all, I will remain humble. I will never behave as if I am better than anybody. Never. I warn you already, don't come for me. If you come for me, I will bury you. Come in, come in and say, these characters... You more looking like Popeye wife, you calling us these characters? Huh? You more looking like Popeye wife. Popeye Finn and you big, big, big. 
<laughs> Shut your face with the nonsense you're saying. I tell you I eat in fire, I'm coming for you all. Ain't it, are you? I don't interfere if people don't look for trouble with me. That's the worst thing. Anybody who's smart, they know not to interfere if so-so. Because I'll come out guns blazing. In discreet. Come and call Guy and I characters or, or who should not listen to the masses. Who are you? Who are you to say I should not, the masses should not listen to me? Because you know damn well they're listening to me. You know they're listening to me. You know they're listening to me. Right? What contribution have you made in the house but shit? And you want to come here and you want to come and talk about Guy Joseph? Guy Joseph is a mogul. Who are you? Look at me. I ain't need to kiss no politician backside. Look at me. Look at my production. Look at what I have done for my country to educate them and to open their thinking and to call Guy and I characters. Go sit your ass down. Nonsense. Yes, I, whether she's independent, I know it's all in the passion fruit campaign. Because a, a woman, if you are an Faust, Hilda, Trey, 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 if she's an independent senator, and I know it's the passion fruit man that put her, because when I, when she was sworn in, the passion fruit man was saying, oh, one of ours, one of ours, the people of Vifat should be ashamed that you talk bullshit like that. So you mean to tell me that you would accept a shithole house like that for an elderly citizen i will never allow and good night to all my elderly citizens they're finding me they're finding me they're calling me they're finding me i love you i love you i love you i will never sit by and allow this government to treat the elderly like that this is disrespectful and this girl is coming and talk such bullshit right this girl is coming and talk teach your children people allow your children to line with those you know always line with people a little better than you they will drag you up because you know what they're busy thinking about okay the stock market they're busy about okay next idea next it idea next medical idea next carpentry idea ne next road idea next something and not people business you come in and call guy joseph and sir alexander the character and and should not the masses should not listen to them go drink some water and mind your business Hey, I take on Richard Frederick, who are you? I take on Richard Frederick, who are you? So hot to give my people. I am here in this country, not because of me. I have reached this age, not because of me, but because of our parents working hard. And because of the senior citizens toiling the fields and doing what they have to do, and you want to disrespect Guy Joseph and Sarai Alexander and saying, people should not, we shouldn't have an audience to listen to you, who are listening to you. My dear, visit a stylist. I am 52 years and I'm hotter than you. I'm taking all your young fellas away from you. My men play you. All of them flock into me because a 52-year-old woman can't look good like that. Who lack a guy they call a barrel and you want to come and talk to, to, to guy Joseph and myself like that? Now sit down! <laughs> we want our country and our life to be true to more why our country is in that mess and i think I, I i think very young i do not think as an old person i i shouldn't say old but somebody you know my age i think young because i'm among young people you stay young your mind becomes sharp because you're among them they think they challenge you and as an older person you have to be receptive to the young people. 
and I'm very receptive to ideas, or as I could have said, no, 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 no. And they make you shine. And take off those braids from your hair. Do like me. All of y'all going and buy, what y'all calling it? Weave hundreds of dollars. Look me, I rock in my natural hair. Men like natural beauty. I rock in my natural hair. Right? I go and take out that weave from your hair. Fix yourself. Before you come for me and say, this character, fix yourself. Go get a stylist. Ask Pierre to give you money for a stylist. And, and to change you. Don't come for me. I want y'all already. Don't come for Guy Joseph and myself trying to insult the man and myself. Oh, these characters. Who are you? I tell, I, I tell y'all already, I have the avenue to crush y'all. I write my things. Let me tell y'all a secret. One of them, they call them sweaty palms. The woman was cutting my videos, right? She was cutting all my lives, sending it everywhere, putting lies to it and everything. We let her have her way. And you know what I did? Facebook sent us, you know, the information and we took down all her videos about us and then facebook deleted her account then i see she put a new account it's like i give them a sweet orgasm they cannot stay away from so so they cannot stay away from marvelous hot marvelous hot always making profile cover i don't even study y'all while y'all study me i get preparing to come and break y'all and mash y'all up i don't study y'all Stupid girl coming and write something about I'm, I'm these characters. Girl, sit your ass down, characters, guy Joseph and myself. Oh, she was passion food campaign manager. That's why they made her um 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 independent senator. But he, 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 a, 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 a hack. You 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 know you want to come and talk. You you want to come and talk. fix yourself. Look at me. 52 years. They, they, when you're 52 years, they call you granny. When, when you're 52 years, that's when you're rocking. That's when you, all, all the young fellas still liking us. Because we keep ourselves good. Right? I come in here. My, my sponsors, my, my supporters, make sure I have all the nice things. To, you see my earring sponsored. My makeup tooth bag I sponsored. So sit your ass down, little girl. And do not interfere with Guy Joseph and Soraya Alexander. Don't make that mistake again. And if you come for us again, I will come with barrels blowing. Sit yourself down, little girl. Now, my people, tomorrow, I know you will not want to listen. But at 5 o'clock, I have to listen to... I have to listen to... Yes, and, and, and Samalyn Central said she needs to rebegin in her thinking so hot. Yes, that's what you need to do, so hot. And tomorrow, all of us, you, instead of me going and, and, and relax myself and listen to a man who can speak, I have to go and listen to, Raya, we want to turn our country to monal rebeginning. I am reporting how much money to give you all. I'm rebeginning. I am reporting. I am rebeginning. We want our country to return to Mona. We want our country to return to Mona. Like, seriously? Like, seriously? My people, it was fun being here with you tonight. Saki Fashi Toof. I want you all to come for me. I don't interfere with people because I know me. I know me. I, I give you enough rope to hang yourself and come for me and then I just explode you. My people, I will be on tv on wednesday youtube and facebook boy my youtubers we have hundred and something watching on youtube i love y'all continue sharing tell your friends my youtubers and everybody on my chat here i love y'all and that is just part one come back for me and you'll see i will like just explode all of y'all my people I love y'all and may God bless y'all. And thanks for all the coffee. And remember to support after the show. So go buy coffees because so so have your back and she loves y'all. Be good and God bless. Bye bye. We expose lies and deceive. Expect us 